Hello friends, Ms. Myholko here. I'm the orchestra teacher at East Middle School and I am here to show you how each of the instruments in orchestra works. I'm going to start with the violin. This is the smallest of the string instruments. You hold it on your shoulder, you play it with the bow. The neat thing about all of the string instruments is they come in a variety of sizes. So this is a full size violin. We have half size, three quarter size, quarter size, even little bitty ones that like four year olds can play. It's pretty cool. But this is a full size violin. We use a shoulder rest to help make it comfortable when you play. We learn how to hold the bow with the right amount of pressure and bow speed. We pull it on a string and it makes sound. strings all the string instruments have four strings and once I start using my fingers on the strings I can get different pitches we learn songs like twinkle twinkle tunes like by Alum Cabbage. When we get good at it, we can add some other things to spice it up. tunes like Old Joe Clark. We also learn popular music like Lady Gaga. The next instrument we have in orchestra is the viola. It looks like a violin, but it's actually a bit different. Full-size violas are a little bit bigger, thicker or deeper because they play lower pitches. These are the strings on the violin. These are the strings on the viola. So the viola plays a lower pitch than the violin, but you play it the same way. This is the low C string, G, D, and A. And again, we use our fingers to change the notes. sixth grade we learned pieces like this French folk song. Also play fun music on the viola like music by Lady Gaga. fiddle tunes on the viola. This one's called Cripple Creek. Or this fiddle tune called Skyboat Song.
cello. You sit when you play it all the time and it rests against your body like this. It's not very heavy, okay? And if you play cello, the cool thing about that is whatever instrument you rent or borrow from school stays at home. And the instrument that you play in school, we have lots of school instruments that stay at school so you don't have to bring your instrument back and forth. But cello has similar strings to viola, but they sound lower. So cello also has a C string. G, D, and A. Again, we use a bow, but we're going in a different direction. But same thing, when we add fingers, we get different notes. actually the instrument that I play, but I primarily use violin to teach in class. This is a song we learned to play in sixth grade called Go Tell Aunt Rhody. <laughs> instruments that are fast. We can play stuff that's slower and pretty. play things that have a more rock feel and aggressive loud feel. <laughs> for movies like Harry Potter. The last instrument I want to talk to you about is our biggest one in orchestra and it is the string bass. We stand to play this one obviously. And this is a full-size bass, what a full-grown adult uses. We have smaller um, size basses and cellos too for uh, people of smaller stature, so for our young students. We also play this with a bow, but sometimes we pluck the string. Bass is the lowest pitched instrument in the orchestra. It has a G string, D, A, and low E. This is the one people like to play a famous movie theme from. See if you can guess it. Anybody know what it is? It's about a large creature you find in the ocean that has very sharp pointy teeth. Jaws, ask your parents. They probably know that movie. We can also play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the bass. We can play fiddle tunes too. This is called Bylum Cabbage. the bass plays the backup with slap bass. So 
that's a fun thing you get to do on bass. But we can also play popular music. See if you can guess what movie this is from. We can also play classical music like this, O to Joy by Beethoven. watching any one of those instruments and they got you a little excited about trying to learn how to play it then you should definitely consider being an orchestra just sign up for orchestra and we will figure out in the fall which of those four instruments you would like to play we can rent instruments and we also have school instruments and if you play a bigger instrument you don't have to bring it back and forth we have a school instrument that stays here and an instrument that stays at home if you have any questions as always feel free to email me have a good day. Thank you.